comments, people always say how positive, how positive and happy I am and things like that. And I think that's so great that they can see that like through the camera and it's always throws me off like I am, I'm happy and positive and all that because I don't always feel that way. Um, I, but I mean that's good that it seems like I convey that and I don't intentionally try to be like I'm gonna be happy and all this awesome stuff in the videos like I'm not fake or phony in these videos I am just me. Um, I probably so slow down a little bit how I normally talk just so you guys can understand me because normally my mind goes super fast, you know. But um, I think it's always great when people will comment on that because I don't always feel like I am happy and cheerful and positive and all that. I'm just me, you know, so it's great. And I know sometimes I'm not always that way, and that's probably the times when I choose not to do a video because it's like, you know, I want to kind of have this as a positive type channel. I'm not fake or phony, you know, and there will probably be times where I will be more real about things or have rants or have bad things happen, and I'll share that with you guys possibly. But um, for the most part, I think because I'm in control in a lot of aspects of my life and I'm in some good points of my life right now, you know, that, you know, I can have a more clearer, happier mindset about a lot of things and a lot more positivity, I guess, in my life. Um, but I'm not one of those people where, I'm not like faking phony where it's like, like some people are, where they think if they say the positive, that it'll happen you know, or pray, or any, no, I'm just kind of always, like, real about things, you know, like, I know sometimes things don't work out, but sometimes it doesn't work out at that moment, maybe it will down the road, or maybe it didn't work out for a reason, and you'll have to find out what the reason is later down, you know, so sometimes that's, that's more my thinking, I'm more just real about things, so anyways, um, I thought to do this vet, this vlog, um, these are kind of my life lessons, um, something that just popped in my head one day, probably like two weeks ago, and now I got around to finally doing the video. Um, but these are kind of like, I guess, my life lessons or things I do in my day to day um, that maybe could help some of you guys that don't always feel 100%. I know I don't always feel 100%. But I try to be better than I am, and right now there's a lot of good things going on in life, so, you know. But, I mean, these are things that I kind of do or that I've had to learn and figure out all on my own. Um, I don't take any medications. I only take a migraine pill kind of on and off in the mornings is the only time I get, like, headaches. So to kind of prevent it, I've just always taken, like, a migraine pill. That's it. And I just take, like, one small one. And they take birth control. That's it. So I don't take any other medications. Yes, I'm guilty of caffeine consumption. But I don't drink that much caffeine, you know. But anyways, that's it, you know. And then I just eat good. Anyways, so these are my life lessons as to maybe give you guys a little bit of help or nudge to maybe maybe think about some things that, you know, maybe could change in your life or things that I've done and learned through the years to try and, um, have a little more of a positive or stay positive type, you know, and good for your mental health improvement, basically. Um, okay, things that I do, you know, walk and exercise daily, at least one to three hours a day. Okay, I know, probably for some people, like, even one hour is crazy, and then trying to do two to three hours can be even more crazy, but I know, like, me, who has a lot going on, all the time upstairs. <laughs> um, I notice a difference when I, like, my favorite exercise actually is probably walking. Um, I've really kind of gotten out of it lately because of all the cold and the rain. But anyways, I know how I feel when I've gone two or three hours, maybe not even straight, maybe an hour here, maybe an hour there, another hour later on. Um, but I definitely can tell the difference, how much calmer I feel, how much more my mind has just fix things out, you know, sort of things out, you know, um, so yeah, I think at least walking one hour a day, at, le at the least is good, you know, 
um, spend time, tons of time outdoors. So try to spend as much time as possible outdoors. Um, I think it kind of helps me a little bit in my van because I have windows all the way around. So even if I'm in the van, it's kind of like I'm still like outdoors. So I feel a lot better because I notice when I'm in houses for too many hours, I'm like depressed. I just want to sleep. I don't want to move. I don't want to do anything. And then I notice in the van, I'm more like, okay, I've had enough time being in here. I need to get out. I think because I feel cramped up, you know, so it gets me to go out. So it's good. But yeah, having spend lots of time outdoors. Um, shop less. Don't browse. Only shop for needed necessities such as food, clothes, shoes. Um, I used to do this where I'd go out browsing and think, oh, I need a new purse. No, really, I don't need a new purse. Or go out to buy shoes and end up with a new purse. Um, like, only go out for the things you really need, you know. Um, and don't browse. It's depressing because you never have enough money for what you really want and it's always pushed in your face of society standards, blah, blah, blah. Um, be around animals. They are one of the most therapeutic things on earth, especially dogs, I think. Especially the right kind of dogs, you know. I have a couple dogs I work with that could stress me out, but I want to say 98% of the dogs that I work with are so good for me like they just balance me out but being around animals even cats are pretty cool too but um yeah be around animals um eat vegan vegetarian having enough b vitamins and my happy juice okay so i've noticed um uh, because there's times in the past i did eat meat yeah and i didn't realize the difference in my body till i became vegetarian and then went vegan even and there's times I've done the raw diets and things like that. And I've definitely noticed when I eat more clean, more healthy, more plant-based, how my body and my mind, how everything just like feels more at peace. And my mind's sharper, my emotions are more stable, like it's amazing. And then um, you gotta have enough, if you're gonna do the vegan vegetarian route, you gotta have enough B vitamins. I definitely notice when mine start to get a little bit low. Um, usually I just throw some of that nutritional yeast powder on some of my foods and that just seems to help. Or, I call it my happy juice. Um, yes, I don't really drink coffee, I'm more an energy drink type of girl. Um, I just always have been. I think it's kind of the taste and it's so convenient to just open a can and drink it. But uh, I don't drink too much of it. But anyways, my happy juice, I call it, is my Nas. And uh, I'll show you a can one of these days. But that stuff is my happy juice because I can tell when I haven't had it for a couple days. I try to not drink it and then I'm just like, oh, I need one. And then I have it and I'm like, oh, I'm better now. <laughs> It's just, I think because that, also that energy drink has B vitamins in it, so. Um, and also living a minimalist lifestyle. Get rid of the clutter. Get rid of what you don't need. Just try to make things more simple in your life, you know. Um, know when, I know when I need to hibernate and saying no. So basically what that means is there's times where I, I don't know if it's being an introvert, I don't always feel like I'm an introvert, but I'm reading more things on introverts and I'm like, I guess I'm an introvert then because these things are true, but I don't know if it's just that it's true for being an introvert or if it's true because I kind of have Asperger's. So they're kind of can go hand in hand, but anyways. Um, I've learned over the last year or so that there's times I know I need to just go hibernate. I need to just be in my little cave and hang out and just do me, you know what I mean? And then that only takes like, maybe I only do that for a couple days, like two days, three days, maybe. I mean, I still get out and go to work and whatever else like I do, but go back home, you know. But then I come out and then I'm like, okay, I feel all refreshed and I can get on with more things I need to go do. You know, it's like regenerating your batteries, basically. Um, and also the saying no part. Um, I have had to learn that it's okay to say no. Don't just be a people pleaser. Be a you pleaser. <laughs> it sounds selfish, but don't always be doing things to make people 
happy or to keep the peace. Fuck that shit. Your life's too short. You know, you need to learn to take care of you because nobody else is going to. You know, so you need to know what you want and you need to go with that. And if people do not like that, fuck them because they need to learn to know to respect you and that they should be proud that you want to stick to your guns of what you want and what you need and what your beliefs are. You know, I know it's not always hard, it's not always easy, but you can get there. Um, and it's okay to say no to people, like, when they're like, oh, can you help me with this or that? Really think what you're going to commit to. It's okay to say no. You know, maybe direct them to someone else who could do it for them. Um, no toxic people. Get out of toxic situations. Life's too short. I have been in toxic relationships and friendships and situations, like, and once I get out of that, I'm just like, what the fuck was I thinking, you know? Because I think I always see the good in people, or I always think, you know, it's just going to be this way for a day or two, and I just, no, just get, do whatever you can to get out and get that toxic shit out of your life. Um, being honest with yourself and others. I think people forget that, and I'm always honest with myself, and I try to be 100% honest with other people. I, my, I only have little white lies about being late. Like, Tisha, why are you late? Oh, um, you know. Instead of just coming out saying, yeah, I just wanted to watch one more YouTube video. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But being honest with yourself and others. I think that's the number one thing. It should be really, really, really important. Do what makes you happy. Don't always try to make everybody else happy. There are some people that will never be happy, even if it's their way. Remember that. So do what makes you happy. It sounds selfish, but there's nothing wrong with that. Your life is too short. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow or later on. So try to make every moment a happy moment. You know, genuinely happy. Um, being selfish, but open-minded. So, knowing what you want, but also try to be open-minded, too, you know. Um, take things one step at a time and take your time. We all want to just get to the finish line. We all want to get to, like, for, hit that ball out of the ballpark and run to fourth base, run to home base, right? But you have to really, for a lot of things, it's okay just to go one step at a time and take the time that you need to get there. It will be a way better process than the end. You will feel better because you can process things as you go. Um, dive into your passions. Find out what are your passions. Everybody's got to have some passions or obsessions or whatever, as long as they're healthy, okay? But... Focus on that. Dive into it. If you can, try to make it your um, work. If you can make money from it, that's even way better, you know. Um, but it's going to feed your soul, you know. Try to have a few passions, actually, because it's not good to spend so much time in one area. So try to be a little more well-rounded and open-minded and try new things out. Um, Get away from the pot, drugs, alcohol, once in a while is okay. So what I mean by that is just try to get away from those toxic substances in your life as much as possible. Try to stay away from those people that have that influence on you. You know, a, okay, my view on pot, it's cool once in a while. Not all day, every day, unless you really, really need it medically, but I feel like it's just... E you got to be changing other things in your life, too. It can't just be take the magic pill, do this or that. Like, you know, once in a while it's okay to go out and have a good time. But, you know, don't don't make the that kind of stuff, like, a constant in your life, you know. Um, it, if you really stay away from a lot of the drugs and the drinking and the pot and all that, you'll start to realize, you'll see the clarity. And you'll see how you start feeling you know, and if you still feel like shit, it's because you're not fixing other things and you had used those substances as a band-aid in your life. So, you'll have more damage to have to clean up. Anyways, um, try not to stress. Things will usually work out okay. There are so many times in the past, especially when I was younger, I would stress and freak out and, and worry, be mulling things in my head all the time. And now I've learned, like... 
kind of like the let it go thing, you know, and everybody told me that and I never understood and knew what that really truly meant till probably this last year where it's like, wait, just don't really worry about it. I mean, there's some things that are very major, yes, but there's only so much stressing you can do about situations, you know, um, a lot of times things kind of will work its way out. So you just kind of have to like be in the moment, try to, you know, do what you can. And sometimes things will just kind of like smooth its way out, you know. Don't stress and obsess and talk and, you know, try to do whatever positive about it you can, you know. But kind of let it kind of, I guess it's like watching paint dry or something. Anyways, um, don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Set your own goals that don't include material things. And set your own self-worth, basically. Um, yeah, don't worry what everybody else is doing. Do you. Worry about you and what your own goals are and achieve your own goals for you. Not for anybody else. Not to prove anything to anybody. For you. Uh, and it's okay to make mistakes as long as you're honest about it and understand your consequences. Take responsibilities for your actions. Know when to just let it go. There are situations I've been in where it's like, I should have just let it go and just walked away. And it's okay to do that. You know, if you have to walk away from a person or something, you need to say, I need to walk away. Or I need to walk away for one day and come back to this. Like, it's okay. Communication is super important. Try to do it more often as much as possible. If you cannot get the words out, I have trouble in certain situations of actually speaking. Like, I just can't talk. Um, write it out. Text it. Email it. As long as you're honest and you really convey what you really are thinking and feeling, that's really important. Um, listen to music, whatever your favorite is. Listen to all different kinds of music. You never know, you know, there's so many millions of genres out there. Um, don't do things you hate. You can outsource for it or eliminate it from your life. Example, say you hate laundry. Yeah, you kind of have to do laundry. Okay, so outsource for it. Pay somebody else to do it. Find a family member that'll do it and pay someone else to do it. Or drop it off the laundromat. Um, if there's things you really, really, really hate doing, say you hate mowing the yard, take out the fucking yard. Like, make your life easy and simple. Don't do those things you hate, you know. Find a way to outsource for it or just not have that thing in your life, you know. Take control of the reins and... Grow up, do adulting. Yeah, take the reins of your life and grow up. A lot of people don't. You know, it sounds really weird. Don't be dependent on no one and don't be an enabler. Take care of you. Sit and sleep on the floor as much as possible to be grounded. Uh, this is something I've been doing a lot more in the last few months and um, I've actually been sleeping on the floor a lot more. I'll go more in detail about that in another video, but, um, it's really been interesting, you know, to always be sitting in chairs and now to be like, I'm always going to sit on the floor for the most part, except this video probably. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've definitely been sitting and sleeping on the floor way more. And, uh, don't worry what others think. I know it's like old school logic, right? Don't live for others, live for the life you want. Work less. Don't put those high pressures on yourself. Don't try to push yourself to work 60 weeks. If you can't do it, if there's no reason you really have to, like enjoy life, like watch the pressures you put on yourself. It's good to challenge yourself, but don't overdo it. You know, you, it's not going to really be worth it in the end most of the time. Like, you shouldn't have something that's so incredibly difficult hard. You should try to make goals that are kind of, like, feasible. But not too easy, but it's okay to challenge yourself. Um, learn to be yourself. Oh, learn to be by yourself. I'm still working on that one. You know, some people want to spend so much time with people all the time. But you really... 
should learn to be by yourself and be like your best friend and learn how it's okay you know you don't always have to be around somebody and have somebody with you at all times you know I think it's confusing for me a little bit you know I'm okay with it but I've gotten a lot lot better in the last couple of years about it you know like I've I think this last year I've finally been like come to terms about it you know um so that was it that was for my video of my life lessons I'm sure there's a million other things or my life lessons and how to stay positive and good mental health kind of thing. Um, I'm sure there's a million more ideas. If you guys have video, I mean, if you guys have ideas that I may have not included, I'd love to hear you guys' ideas. Put them in the comments below. And thank you always for watching. And you guys have a good night. And yeah, thanks.